Alrighty guys, so welcome back to my channel today, and we are doing a brand new video today, so today is going to be a great day, because you know why, because I'm doing another Sims battle in The Sims 4 for another week, and I'm collabing with my good friend Cyberdoll, and we both decided to go ahead and do an Italian Tuscan home on a 40 by 30 lot with a budget of 80,000 simoleons in Oasis Springs, and let me tell you, I thought this build was going to be so much fun and so easy, which, well, it was fun but it was not easy. I literally was stressing out the whole time because I was like, okay, how am I gonna do this? Because I was at around 50,000 simoleons in of the build and I was still not on the interior. I was still on the exterior of the build because I wouldn't make the outside of the house look really, really good for people to download on the gallery because the way people see on the gallery is the first thing they see is the front of the house. And the first thing that people see on a video for YouTube is the thumbnail, the or well, whatever. For me and personally, I usually show the front of the house and make it look as presentable as possible and decent and look clickable because you know gotta get those clicks on YouTube right you know anyway so like I said I didn't get into the interior of the house around I didn't get into the interior of the house around like about I think 65,000 simoleons so that's when I started doing the interior of the house and I was like okay I think I can I can do this but I got around 70,000 simoleons so and I was still on the kitchen part but I was like on the kitchen slash dining room part and I kind of cut some stuff parts out of this house, like on the interior of the house, because I was getting, it was getting a little bit too big and I didn't want to have empty space. So I hate having empty space. I love cluttering my house with things. So I wanted to make sure that the house looked really, you know, cluttered, but also cluttered, but also, you know, eh, you know, I, I don't know. I just didn't want to have empty space. So I kind of started cutting out random parts of the build on the inside of the house. So there's like a lot of, like, not like, emptiness in the house if that makes any sense i don't know you, you can do whatever you want in this house but the house is up is the house is up on the or on on the gallery right now so my origin is spring sims and if you want to check out cyber doll's video and her channel i will link it down below because i think she probably did a really good job on this build but, but let me just tell you now i feel like that she did a better job because she's a very talented builder builder because she's right now doing an entire community like, like she's building like a uh, i think a, a mall like an entire mall on a 64 by 64 lot in, I think, San Myshuno, which is by far the biggest lot. I have, well, by far the most dedicated thing I have ever had in my entire life. Because I did one time, I built a park on a 64 by 64 lot last year or two years ago. I can't remember, but it, it's been a long time. But now seeing people, seeing other people do it, I praise them because I, last time I did that, it took me eight hours to do and I struggled so much, but it was worth it in the end because I finished it and it was done. So anyway, um, so Cyberdoll is a very interesting character, is a very interesting person because what happened was I did, in the, I did a 100 baby challenge live stream on Twitch on Friday and I ended up with having triplets the first time, blame Cyberdoll, and then I end up having another set of triplets blame Cyberdoll again in a span of two hours because what I wanted to do is, like, you know, I wanted children and I needed to complete the 100 baby challenge. So right now I only have six kids. So I woohooed with Sergio Romeo from Windenburg that came with Get Together. And then I woohooed with um, Caleb Valtor that came with the Vampire Game Pack. And let me tell you, I may or may not have Vampire triplets or I, I don't even know that might that might happen. But who knows? But if you want to check out my live stream, I will link the video down below so you guys can check it out. Because I think that you guys should really, I, I feel like the 100 Baby Challenge is very, very, it's a very successful, like, challenge in the Sims 4, in the Sims community in general. Because a lot of people do it, and a lot of people play it in a different way. For me, I felt so stressed out. I was like, mama needs a drink. Because I'm like, I'm stressed out. I'm not pulling my hair out. I might have a heart attack. But you know, I don't know. See, okay. I was really, really debated on doing the challenge because I know it can be very, very repetitive, but also very interesting at the same time because I know Little Simsy, Kayla, well, yeah, Little Simsy, Yammy, and Mousy, I know my friends, they do it on their channel, and I'm like, I praise them for not Oh, having a mental breakdown, unless, unless they probably keep their cool, try to keep, like, try to hide the mental breakdown on the inside and not really freak out in the video because, you know, you got to get the clicks right, you know? Anyway. I just feel like I, feel, I felt so stressed out just doing it, but I, I had a lot of fun doing it, so I, I want to continue it, and I think that I might do like a, a 100 baby challenge update video for you guys, so you can, can understand that I'm doing the 100 baby challenge on Twitch as a live stream instead of a let's play, because I feel like doing a let's play for the 100 baby challenge is rather, it would take too long, and plus you like, you don't want to make the video too long, like, 
I would say like 30 minutes long for a video, but doing a live stream is a lot better and you get life, you get live feedback for baby names and other things that you can do around the town and like have help. So that's kind of a, what I like to do for, for the now future when I want to do like longer challenges. Like I'm doing the 100 baby challenge. I might do the island challenge. I might do like some random stuff. Like I feel like I end up doing so many videos and let's plays that I don't end up completing them for some reason. I don't know why. Like, I did a dine-out challenge, or well, a dine-out series, but I did not complete it because it was just too repetitive and too boring for me, so I didn't didn't like it. But anyway, that's what I'm going to try and do more often. I'm going to try to live stream a lot more often and for you guys, too, so you can, you know, see me live and get live feedback and just stuff, and we're going to have a fun time. So I'm not really sure when I'm going to do my, like, my, my next live stream. It might be next week on Wednesday because that's what I usually do. I kind of have a, a schedule right now of doing a Friday or a Wednesday, Friday, and maybe a Saturday stream. And I might just do that more often because I feel like that's a lot of fun. But in the next coming two weeks, I won't be live streaming or making, well, I won't be live streaming at all. But I will have video for, video for you guys because I will be away at VidCon in California. So I'll be doing that because I'm going with, my friends from who don't do sim videos, but I know who else is going. Um, Stefo Sims, Kayla, uh, Classy Cal, and Zoe, who is always simming. So they are going to VidCon, and I'm like, I'm gonna meet them there. We're gonna be lit. We're gonna be turned up. We're gonna be the, you know, the um, squad goals again. <laughs> I guess you would say, but I feel like that's gonna be a lot of fun. I get to, I get to meet my friends again, and I've, and I probably haven't met before. The only person I've actually met who does the Sims is Kayla. That's going to VidCon. And so that's pretty cool. I'm really happy for I'm really excited to meet her again because, you know, we're pretty cool. We're pretty tight, I think. I don't know. Still, that's life. Um. Anyway, so like I said, this house is very not as furnished as possible because the way I wanted to make this house is that I didn't want to make it too furnished furnished because there's a story to it. And that's why the house is not furnished to its full potential like I wanted it. So I feel like in every build battle, if I don't fully decorate something, I'll have like an elaborate story where it's like that person's um, lifestyle that they don't have a lot of stuff. And I, you know what, I might just, you know what, I will do that. I will do that because I feel like that's more relatable and more easier to comprehend when like a sim doesn't have a lot of stuff. That's why I didn't make, I didn't fully furnish the house the way I wanted. I feel like if I took my more time on this build, it will be a lot better, a lot more furnished tool, furnished. And okay, I was first thinking of making a smaller house, but it was not happening. So I didn't, I just didn't do it. So that's what I, that's what I thought. But I will get to the story in a minute. I still want to talk about, you know, my life for a bit. So I have a few more videos to record as of right now, because I'm currently pre-recording a lot of videos for the entire month of June. And I, because I want to stay ahead and plus I have homework to do and I have four more assignments left. Well, by the time I'm watching this, I might have zero assignments left for homework to do because I'm in summer school right now and I have four assignments to do before I leave for California. And then I have, I think, 13 videos left. Well, I have 13 videos to record before I leave in 10 days and I'm going to be talking a lot and I'm going to be doing a lot of builds. So I have a lot of things to do. So I'll be preoccupied. So if I don't like respond to your comment right away, I'm either recording, napping or eating food because sometimes when I record, I forget to eat food and I forget to sleep because that's how my life rolls as of right now. <laughs> cause I feel like cause whenever I was in, in, in when I had college as a, like a full load, I, I real I was not sleeping. I wasn't eating a lot and I wasn't really like being as productive as possible because I was really working on a lot of homework and a lot of YouTube stuff at the same time, but I wasn't really going full force in my full potential. And I didn't have the sim battle at the time, but now that I do, I feel like a lot more creative and design and decorate is going to be a lot different more often because I want to try and make some more different builds. So if you have like any building suggestions on what I should do for like my next coming builds, let me know down in the comments below. But as of right now, I probably won't use your, your suggestions because I already have them already probably pre-built and I have to just do the voiceover for them. But again, if you have any suggestions, leave your comments down below and treat me on Twitter for any like any pictures that or any housing picture inspiration that you guys want me to use as an example. Because I would love to have ideas for more builds that you guys want to see. I know someone actually want me wants me to build a church, but I need to build one of those. I haven't built one in literally never. So what I was thinking that I might make like an Italian winery where it's like a slash re like weddings reception thing in the backyard and, you know, like a bar. But I'm also going to like make a perfect patio 
backyard with a new mason jar light that came in the Sims 4 parenthood game pack. So I feel like that can be kind of a good thing. So I might do that. I'm really excited for more bills to come. I'm really excited for the the fitness scent, the the fitness stuff pack. The only reason why is because I like more building objects in the Sims 4 because I like to build a lot. I like to build a lot of stuff. So I'm like, the more objects, the better the build. But the gameplay of the stuff, it didn't really appeal to me. I really, really ugh. I really, I really do like the rock climbing stuff because it looks really cool and we don't really have that type of stuff in The Sims 4 or I don't think we ever had. No, we had the rock climbing thing in The Sims 2 for the military thing or some type of obstacle course that you had to climb a wall. But in The Sims 4, it looks really cool because it's like there's fire. I was, I always commented on the trailer video in that comment saying death by, death by rock climbing. Hmm? Death by by rock climbing now that would be a cool thing though i don't know but it'll be kind of morbid though like you you climb up and then you just kind of fall on your back but i feel like someone's gonna make a mod about that probably they might but like when you rock climb in the trailer it's like i saw fire so i'm like okay you maybe catch you might catch on fire you might fall from your death i don't know i mean they may or may not but we will see. But again, I whenever the pack comes out, I will be doing a lot of builds for that, of course, because, you know, I got to build some stuff and I love to build. I was thinking of probably building a fitness center because it's around fitness and, you know, working out. But it also has like a lot of modern, modern stuff and like a lot of, I, I think I saw a hint of mid-century modern things in there. So there may or may not be some mid-century modern builds coming along as well. <laughs> I really love mid-century modern like architecture and objects because it's so cool and i didn't realize until we got the bowling pack that we already had like mid-century modern homes and they're all in oasis springs because oasis springs is like kind of an inspiration of palm springs in california and i didn't realize that until we got the bowling pack because i never really kind of stood or really played in oasis springs for a long for a long time so whenever we got the bowling pack i thought to myself okay this looks exactly like palm spring like palm springs has a lot of mid-century modern homes Something okay, mid-century modern. I really do like it. It looks really good. So yeah, the, I'm still obsessed with mid-century modern. I'm not done with it. I still have a lot more builds to build. Like I want to build the Brady Bunch house one day. The Sims 4. I want to. I want to build a lot of stuff. Like if you don't know, Starlight Village. It's in Texas. It's a architecture building company that they build mid-century modern homes and it's so cool i really do love it i have a few builds in mind that i want to recreate from their their actual houses but i wouldn't put them in the sims 4 because the last one i did was an exact replica of the house that they built in texas it's like it's there and i feel like i could i did it just i really did justice so i might do another build for that and who knows what will happen when when that will be because I'm going to build a mid-century modern bachelor pad that I found off of their website. And it's going to be kind of a cool thing to just do. Because I never built a bachelor pad in my in my lifetime, actually. Well, have I? No, no, I, I haven't built a bachelor pad yet. No. Have I? I, pro I probably have and I forgot. But anyway, so this is the part where I started to get to the interior and also the exterior of the house. It was around 60,000 simoleons. 64, 65,000 simoleons. And I wanted to make this, the build on the outside and the inside look you know presentable i probably shouldn't have not put this back area i would have a little bit more money just to decorate the inside a little bit more a little bit more because the hallway the hallway upstairs and downstairs was not fully decorated to its full potential the way i wanted it to look like and i don't know why i put like this driveway but i wanted to copy the picture for what it was off of, i found off of pinterest and you know I, I like to i try to make my builds as playable as functional and as you know look alike ish looking amazing like that so anyway <laughs> i don't know what else to talk about in this build i well i can talk about the story because i still have like about three minutes left literally three minutes so it's gonna be a short story so we have this little small little family and we have these two three these three these three sims yeah these three sims we have the mother and the, the mother and father and their son named um Elijah. Elijah. Yeah, the son is Elijah. We have James and Maria. So James and Maria were both married. They had a son named Elijah. And they both recently, they all lived in this house for a couple years, about 15 years. And they didn't have Elijah. Elijah's only like eight years old. So it's been a while since they've been in this house. But um, Maria and John both were like 
with newlywed couples. They wanted to find a house that was really cheap, but also very affordable in their price range. Because they had a lot of money set aside because they knew they were going to have a, ch a child one day. But they also knew they were going to like, have a place to live. So they decided to go ahead and live here. And they wanted to decorate the way they wanted it to look like. And it looks really, really good in, in their opinion. They really do like it. So I'm glad they, they, they liked what I did with this house. So John and Maria... And John is actually in the politician career in his, in like, he's kind of be, he's trying to be the mayor of, of, Oasis, of Oasis Springs. And for Maria, she's actually a stay-at-home mom, but she's actually a very, very good cook. And at this point in time, she's trying to, you know, set her, like, trying to pick up her business. Like, she has, she's trying to be a, a business, a business, a business owner. And she's trying to run her own business. And she really wants to try to make it look really, really good. And, and that's, I think she's doing really well for herself. She's really making a stable income, trying her best to provide for her family, but also trying to provide for her son. But even though that John is doing very well in, a, in his politician career, gaining those donations, making a living off of it, and he's just doing really good off of it as well. And they weren't able to afford a lot of stuff at the time. So that's why I didn't really fully decorate this house to its full potential. And yeah, they just, they just didn't have a lot of money to spend on furniture or Anything at all, pretty much. That's why it's like this. And also, I don't know what else I was going to say. I forgot. Ooh, what was I going to say? I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, the three Sims, John, well, no, um, Elijah, he's actually in elementary school right now. He's doing really well. And he's he has a B in school. And he's on, he's going to be on the honor roll very soon. He's on the debate team, on the soccer team. He's doing well in school and he's having a lot of fun with it. So, also, yeah, there's an, I had a CC glitch in my game, so I don't know what was going on. I probably downloaded some random custom content that kind of glitched my game where each and every build that I have is count as modded, but it's not. So, what I have to do is disable mods and put my build as CC free. So, it's working now. I love it now. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this video right here. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know anything down in the comments below, as always. And I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye!